Okay, to begin with, we're going to start to apply this idea of tonality shapes to learning our major pentatonic fingerings all over the neck. So here we're going to do it in with the C major pentatonic scale. And I have sort of a different way of teaching pentatonic scales. One of the things I hear from students a lot is that uh, they're able to play the notes of the pentatonic scale correctly, but they don't feel like they're able to get it to sound correct. And I think part of the reason is because we start to lose orientation of where the tonic is. So the way that we're going to practice all of the different pentatonic scales throughout this course is two different ways. First, playing within the tonality shape itself. Then the second time through, you're going to begin on the lowest note of that tonality shape, and you're going to play all of the notes that are out of that pentatonic scale in that position up to the highest note in that position come all the way back down to the lowest note in that position, and then resolve it back to the tonic. This will start to help your ears to get oriented with the sound of the major pentatonic and this, how it relates to the tonic. So to begin with, we're going to start with our C major pentatonic coming out of that first tonality shape in first slash open position. Here we go. Two, three, four. in the same position using all the notes, two, three, four. So you can already start to hear how it relates to the tonic C. Now we're going to go up to second position, coming out of this tonality shape, and play it within the shape itself. Two, three, four. And now all the notes in that position. Two, three, four. Now we're going to move up to fifth position, coming out of this tonality shape. It's always really important to play that tonality shape just before you play the scale so you can really start to orient your ears and your hands with the tonality shape and the sound of the tonic. So here we go in fifth position just within the tonality shape itself. Two, three, four. And then all the notes in that position. Three, Four. Now we're going to move up to seventh position, coming out of this tonality shape. And we're going to play all the notes within the tonality shape itself. Two, three, four. in the position, three, four. Now we're going to go up to 10th position. 10th position for this pentatonic is a little tricky because we're going to have a bit of a shift. So the actual tonality shape is like this. But the way that we're going to play it is actually starting with our second finger. And then we'll end up on the fourth, but we're going to shift here when we're crossing between the G to the B string so as to make the fingering a lot more easy to play. So uh, let's try it first here in tenth position. Two, three, four. the notes in that position. Okay, so we've gone through 
all five fingerings of the major pentatonic scale. So now really we have the information to be able to transpose this into all sorts of other keys and also all the way up the neck. For right now we're going to continue up the neck. So the fingering that I played in first slash open position now gets transposed up here to twelfth position. And we're going to begin by playing the scale just within the tonality shape itself. Two, three, four. Now here are all the notes in that position. Three, four. Now the fingering that I played originally in second position gets transposed up here to fourteenth position. And here's the C major pentatonic in that position within the tonality shape. Three, four. And here's all the notes in that position. Three, four. going to go one position higher, or one tonality shape higher I should say. The fingering that we played in fifth position now gets transposed up here to seventeenth position. And we're going to begin by playing the C major pentatonic just coming out of that tonality shape. Two, three, four. all the notes in that position. Three, four. So there you go. That's all of the fingerings for the C major pentatonic going through all of the five different tonality shapes, going all the way up the neck of the guitar. Now it's important to start to become familiar with what these fingerings are, starting to memorize them, and also starting to see the connections between them. We're going to, in future lessons, start to apply it into other keys, but it's really important for you to get down this information first. So spend some time here, go through the fingerings, take a look at the PDF, make sure you have that down, and when you're ready you can come join me in the next lesson.